turns out we Americans love food so much, we even love sleeping in places that look like food. Jimmy Rhodes has the ultimate in foodie stays, and it's on the buzz list. Jimmy. Now, if you're hungry for a new travel adventure, these places will make your mouth water. At number one, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, and this one's gonna require a pun counter. For around $140 a night, you'll feel like a pig in a blanket in this 27-foot-long Airbnb listing, but let me be frank. It appears there's no available dates for the foreseeable future. I know, I know, that's the worst. But hopefully we can relish the moment till the next opening when we can have a wonderful time singing. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I truly like to be. To be. That guy sure cuts the mustard. <laughs> okay, sorry for all the corn dog jokes. How'd we do? Ugh, only seven. I'm off today. At number two, the Avocado. This limited time Sydney, Australia stay was set up by Booking.com to celebrate the recently enacted National Avocado Day. It went for 70 bucks on their website and was even decked out in avocado decor. It was only available for two nights, and if the room wasn't ready when the lucky guests arrived, all they had to do was put it in a brown paper bag with an apple. And third on our list of foodie stays, the Potato Hotel. Now, the good news here is there are actually dates available for this one. It's on Airbnb for $200 a night. It's a six-ton potato that rests on 400 acres of good old Idaho farmland. And despite its lumpy brown appearance, it's surprisingly beautiful inside and comes with air conditioning so you won't bake. So if you really just wanted to know what it's like to be inside a potato as opposed to have a potato inside of you, here's a great opportunity to experience it. Thanks, Spud. I am totally digging that appealing pad. <laughs> okay, I gotta run though. Pun police are coming for me. What are your appetite with lodging that's making me hungry? On the buzz list. I just hope those places come with food because you'll be thinking of nothing but food when you're staying there. <laughs> we'll be right back.